Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about Arcanas and their brand new trade lock. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at today's sponsor. So it's going to be Manco Store. They've been very big in the TF2 marketplace and they are expanding into the CSGO marketplace so they need sellers and buyers. They offer a 5% sales fee as well as only PayPal deposits and withdraws, which is a really good system as well, also very rare in this current marketplace system. They also offer a wide variety of games. Alright guys, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about this Arcana trade hold and what it means for the future of CSGO. So as many of you may know, the Arcanas now have been given a trade hold of 7 days and this may or may not be a permanent thing. The unfortunate thing is we don't have any sort of like official announcement about this trade hold as we did with CSGO items when they got their seven day trade hold so that part is a little bit weird and it may just be something to do with the battle pass honestly not too sure right now but with that said it looks like it's going to be a permanent thing we don't really have any confirmation otherwise and it did of course happen so to kind of give you the short answer for what's going to happen with the CSGO economy we are going to see a short-term drop in prices this is pretty much just to be expected there's been a lot of panic recently in the CSGO economy because there's been a lot of new investors that kind of just want to make short-term profits and unfortunately because they're not very experienced with it when anything goes even slightly wrong they sort of just start to dump and they sell on panic i would expect the short-term declines to kind of recover after about a week and a half or so and we can actually already see this happening on some of the items that dropped so that's actually a pretty good sign now as for probably the bigger question what's going to happen to trading that one is a little bit more complicated to answer because it's kind of been an interesting past few months when we were starting to use arcanas so as we all know arcanas were a very popular item because they had no trade hold and they also carried a decent amount of value so basically really big high trades could actually use arcanas or dc hooks as well and those were able to actually make these very big trades go through very simply and also allow for less of a trade hold so luckily there's actually still an item that does not have a trade hold and it is actually still a liquid item and that's going to be tf2 keys so this is probably going to be the next liquid i mean there's not really any other option other than tf2 keys there could be items in tf2 that are used as liquids but that's not really going to be as likely and i think tf2 keys are going to be the best candidate so tf2 keys are worth around two dollars and these are going to be a pretty interesting interesting item because they're small and the unfortunate issue with that is it's going to mean that really big high tier trades are going to require a lot more actual trades themselves. For example, if you wanted to trade 2,000 keys for an item, then that's going to, of course, be about $4,000 worth of keys, and that's going to be actually a lot of items in CSGO now that are worth around that much money. So the problem with that is you're going to have to do multiple trades, and that could also end up in a few scams. Aside from that, though, we used CSGO keys as a liquid for a very long time, and those had a very similar value to TF2 keys, so I wouldn't see too much of a problem here with using the TF2 keys, at least for the time being. I think that this is going to benefit people who don't want to deal with a trade hold, but it's also going to be sort of an interesting issue as well simply because these tf2 keys could in fact be trade holded in the future and i would actually kind of expect it to this point with how they've already done it to csgo and now dota so even if tf2 keys do get trade holded which of course would be pretty unfortunate for some people the really lucky thing about that is that csgo trading is still going to be alive and well the thing is csgo trading has existed with a seven day trade hold for a long time and it was really only until recently that people were really switching around to tf2 keys and arcanas and all before that there was still the seven day trade hold and trading was very much so alive and well 
Obviously, Arcana's made trading a lot more easy, and it also made transferring balance over to other sites really easy, but now that that's dead, we kind of just have to move on to the next big thing. So if we switch over to a pure CSGO trading scene, where basically every single trade is conducted in the CSGO game, and it's not conducted with any other game items, then I think the next big item for that is going to be Redlines, AKs, or Op Asimovs, which could also hold a pretty liquid value. The only problem here is that the Phoenix case is of course getting more and more rare by the day, and by the same token, these items could also rise in price, the Op Asimov and the AK Redline. So I think when it comes to these two items, the Redline or the Op Asimov, the more popular one is probably going to be the Redline in terms of using it as a liquid, because the Redline hasn't seen too much of a positive trend or negative trend in its price, and it's kind of stayed around the $14 range for quite a while now. Now if for whatever reason the Redline and Op Asimov are no longer able to be used as liquids, a really interesting thing here is that we can just do item to item trading, and this is something that a lot of people try to avoid just because they kind of think that they have to have a lot of pure at points in order to buy items that they like. But obviously, with having a lot of pure, like for example, Arcanas, TF2 keys, whatever those may be, then you can obviously suffer things like the trade hold, and that can lose you a lot of money, which has happened recently with Arcanas. So the main thing here is that trading items to items is actually not that big of a deal, and there's a lot of online marketplaces that have actually used this same method for a very long time. For example, look at Roblox. There's not really liquid items in Roblox. There are some items that you could consider liquid items in Roblox, but they are basically just totally functioning off of an item to item trading system and that's worked for a very long time. When it comes to the investing side of things, we're just going to see pretty much a normal, regular trend of investing that we've been seeing for a while now. After about a week and a half when prices recover, people are going to realize that investing is still alive and well, and it basically is pretty independent from the fact that Dota 2 Arcana's got a trade hold. So yeah, if you're a CSGO investor, luckily for you, this isn't really going to affect you beyond this week and a half. Now what about if you still have Arcana's and you're looking on holding on to them for a while in order to see if their price actually regains? Now luckily for you, this is probably what's going to happen. The nice thing about Arcana's is that even though they have a 7 day trade hold, they are still very usable in-game as cosmetics, and that's when they've really derived their value in the past. Actually, in fact, one of the interesting things here is that since Arcanas were being used as a CSGO liquid, they actually declined in price. So before they were even being used as a liquid, they were actually around the $27 to $28 range, and very consistent around that range, and then as they started to get popularized in the CSGO scene, they actually declined to around $26, $25, and then even recently they declined down to around $24, $23, especially with the COVID outbreak kind of making Arcanas and liquid items not so popular. Because Arcanas are used as an item that is a cosmetic in Dota 2, if you still have a bunch of them and you haven't traded them off yet, I would recommend either deciding on one of two things. If you want to get rid of them and kind of not have to deal with any sort of risk, you could just trade them to a trade bot. You're going to lose some money on them, of course, but it's going to be something you could regain after buying some investments with that Arcana trade that you actually do on the trade bot. So that's an option there. The other option, I would say, is just to hold on to them and wait for them to regain their value. Of course, like I said, they are cosmetics, but it's going to kind of be a little bit untrustworthy as to when they're actually going to regain their value. We don't really have any sort of idea on that. Now, one final question that I want to answer that I actually just remembered by the end of this video was the fact that CSGO trading could in fact be impacted in the future with a full trade ban on all items, making them only marketable. Now, this is a rumor that people have been spreading a little bit after anything that happens in regards to trading and trade holds, like the Arcana trade hold recently. A lot of people kind of bring up the rumor that CSGO trading could just die completely and they could totally get rid of it. This is not going to happen for a few reasons, and let me explain why. So one of the main evidences for why this isn't going to happen is actually the Arcana trade hold itself. A lot of people were looking at that as saying that there could be more trade holds in the future, but the interesting thing about this that people aren't really interpreting is the fact that they gave Dota 2 Arcana items a 7 day trade hold. That means that they did not give it a total trade ban, and therefore they're only going to look towards a 7 day trade hold and don't think that a full time trade ban is actually going to be a feasible option. Another pretty big evidence here for why trade bans aren't going to happen in a full sense in the future is the fact that Valve actually considered doing a full trade ban on all CSGO items in the past, and they actually decided against it. So the main thing here is that they actually make a lot of money off of trades, especially with people getting more invested into the market because of trading especially, and the fact that they could actually destroy that completely is not really a good business move for them at all, and it's definitely not something that they're considering in any aspect right now. So if you're worried about that happening, then I would basically just say to throw those worries out the window. I don't think that's going to happen, and I think the Dota 2 trade ban for 7 days is actually pretty good evidence and pretty strong evidence for why that's not going to happen as well. Now I realize that this video is pretty hopeful and it does have a lot of positive aspects towards trading in general. I do want to make it clear that it's not like fully confirmed. Obviously I don't work for Valve, so I don't know what's going to happen in the future in terms of their updates, so there very well could be something that screws over trading in general, and I'm not saying that's not out of the realm of possibility, it totally is. 
So there's going to be a pretty interesting thing in the future there if that does actually happen because there's a lot of evidence pointing towards the fact that it's not really going to be altered. And also one more thing, if you have Arcanas on buff that you think were basically taken away from you, just look in your buff backpack and they're probably going to be there. Anyway, with that said, that's going to cover everything that I wanted to talk about in terms of this trade hold and the future of CSGO trading. If you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you get a better grasp of things, then I would recommend checking out more of my content and also subscribing to my channel. It's very easy, it takes only one click of course. And of course, you can also like the video, which is also only one click. So two clicks and you can really help me out with the algorithm. And that being said, thank you guys again for watching this video. If you want to check out Manco store, you can go ahead and use the link in the description below. And of course, if you want to check out the Discord and Twitter for more discussion on these kind of topics, you can always do that as well with the links in the description below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching this video, taking time out of your day to come spend it with me, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.